I've been thinking a lot today about the death of a child. <sighs> this is something that a parent should never have to witness. It's possibly one of the hardest things a parent will ever have to go through. And I can only imagine the pain of those who watch their young ones pass away. I've been thinking about the repercussions of such an occurrence happening. We have a family member who's very ill. They're getting better. They're always getting better. <laughs> but they are someone's child and it is a struggle every day. <laughs> they're so tired from the medical procedures that they're going through. I can only imagine the pain their parents are feeling because this isn't the first time that they're sick. This isn't the first time they're struggling. This isn't the first time those parents have had to deal with their child questioning if they're going to live. Can you imagine just the, the tragedy of losing someone close to you? Maybe you've experienced it. Maybe someone you love has died left your life. It's not easy. How do you even decide to get out of bed the next day, the next week, the next year? It's hard. <clears throat> I only think <laughs> of the good I can do in the world when I think of such terrible things happening. There's, why, why be good? Why make good choices? Why do the right thing? There's a religious aspect to it. That's not in the scope of this video. We can cover that another time. But you must think about it as the unfolding of history. As humanity goes forward. What will happen over the next decade? What will happen over the next century, millennia? Where will humanity be in 1,000 years? That is what motivates me to do, do well at what I'm doing, but to do good unto others. Think of a very simplified example. You go to the gym, you feel good about yourself. You interact with someone afterwards in a positive way. You've made their day just a little bit brighter and they go out and they interact with people in a positive way. Man, that guy, he was so friendly. He, he, he's got a smile on my face after I interacted with him all because he went to the gym and he felt good. And now I, you know, I talk to the next person and I feel good. And you do some little part to improve someone's day and they improve someone else's day. It's a disciplic succession of positivity as it goes forward. And maybe, maybe it only goes so far as to make their day just a little brighter, but maybe it improves people's lives going down the line. And maybe in 10 years, the world is a brighter place because you were kind to someone because you felt good. And maybe in 100 years, the ripples of those actions have spread out and made the world a better place just because you did the right thing, because you took care of yourself or you felt good at a time. You held a door for someone. You smiled, said hello, asked how they're doing, and it brightened their day just, just a little bit. We have no idea the consequences of our actions. You can't fathom it. This is, this is why the stock market is impossible to predict. There's too many variables. It's the same thing with your interactions with others. There's too many variables. But if you aren't adding good things to the pile of variables, you're only adding to the pile of crap. You're only making things worse. And not just for others in that moment. Not just for yourself overall. Because if you, you litter in your environment, your environment's littered, right? But it's also making things worse for people who come into existence, who are born, who are alive 10 years from now. You're making things worse for humanity in 100 years. 
all because you didn't do the right thing or you didn't smile at some stranger or you didn't hold that door. In fact, you kind of closed it on them. You caused a little bit of pain and then they went out and they caused a little bit of pain and it escalates and it magnifies and it makes the world worse today, tomorrow, a thousand years from now. Sometimes it's hard to think about that. It's hard to think about how your actions, they aren't just to better your life. Yeah, I can, I can study all these things and get a better job and provide more money for my family. Great, great. But what am I really doing? I'm really making the lives of my kids better so that they have less time in a negative space. They don't have to grow up in poverty and feel the necessity to steal things to get by. What does stealing do? It crumbles society. <laughs> if you steal something, that business eventually collapses. That business was the only income for that family, possibly. Now that business owner's family can't eat because you stole items from it. I mean, did you cause the collapse the business? No, no. But if everyone did that, society would crumble. In essence, by getting better, I'm providing my kids to not do evil unto others. That is the ultimate motivation. <laughs> you, you aren't just trying to make your life easier, which is nice. You aren't just trying to be a good dad, which is nice. You're looking at the world and realizing everything in my life is the byproduct of my ancestors. And not just my ancestors, but your ancestors. The people that came before them. People on the other side of the world. All of these interactions form the world as it is today. It's kind of like the butterfly effect. You know, a butterfly flaps its wings on the other side of the planet and a hurricane starts over here. It's very similar. You're telling me that people today aren't affected by, I'm going to call him Genghis Khan and his actions. It's not pronounced that way. Go look up a documentary, but... The point is the same. Geopolitical relations are affected by his conquests of China and Eurasia, even today. It's kind of an interesting thought experiment. We have no idea how our actions will echo through eternity. So you, you must do good. Don't just do well at what you're doing. You must do good. because of the death of those children. Because what you're facing in the world is horrible, is soul draining, mean, sad, evil in some cases. And if you aren't making those good choices, you're just adding to the pile of crap. You're facing down something that could be very large very powerful, very scary. So every day, what are you doing to fight against that? What are you doing to change the outcome of your life, your kids' lives, your neighbors' lives, but also humanity's lives a thousand years from now? Because there's plenty, plenty of bad things in the world, plenty of negativity. And if you add to the positivity around you, just maybe you can do something to make things better in the long term. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you later.